Hi there everyone, uh, welcome to today's advent calendar window of squeeze boxes and uh, today I'm going to show you this one. This is a Hona Lucia. Uh, now I'm going to have to explain this one properly because um, it started off life as a small pre-war um, Hona instrument um, from the 30s and it was made um, for either a sort of beginner's model but actually the quality of it doesn't suggest it's for beginners it's uh, more of a sort of pocket model <laughs> you need big pockets to, uh, for taking on camp or something like that and um, so yes as you can see the notes on the right hand side have a pattern of black and white notes and this is uh, in the configuration for a B system chromatic uh, uh, accordion and um, as you see on the left hand has a 48 bass accordion bass as well stradella system um, so um, why have I got this well um, I saw one of these in uh, when I was in playing a festival in Germany and I it was in a second hand shop and um, I thought I could do something with that I could turn that into a melodeon somehow um, just assuming that the reed blocks would be possible to change um, for melodeon reeds instead um, and that's basically what I ended up doing but I, I had to search for it on the internet many years later because I didn't make the impulse purchase that uh, I should have done um, anyway this instrument's very very interesting indeed um, and I think really um, what I'll just explain the layout um, so on the right hand side uh, where it would have previously been uh, a same note push and pull for the accordion system we now have two notes per button so it's a melodeon um, and the outside rows are in sort of standard tuning DG and then on the left hand uh, I've kept it as a Stradella bass system so we'll talk about that um, later on so have a look at the instrument um, uh, it's very pretty um, it's got this uh, sort of classic Christmas tree design on the on the right hand grill um, it's finished in a really nice white perloid and this period in the 1930s was when I think Hona made some of their absolute best instruments um, very innovative there was lots of variety in the models but the build quality compared to a lot of what came um, post-war um, some of the best instruments out there nice re really nice reeds uh, as we'll see when we go inside and uh, yeah so uh, we'll have a look inside so I just wanted to start off by showing you the Hona Lucia um, with all its extra notes compared to a Hona poker work in size look at that I mean it's pretty much it's smaller in some dimensions and slightly longer in others but um, no it's smaller in every dimension uh, apart from the keyboard size so 48 bases against 8 bases and it's uh, it's smaller anyway here she is the Hona Lucia and um, I'm going to show you some bits of the inside that uh, differ from what we have before um, and I'll show you some of the bits and pieces I've changed on it to make it uh, a bit more playable with a melodeon system so uh, first off is the air button so I'm going to take this velcro strap off and have a look at the left hand side now because it was an accordion oh, excuse me <laughs> because it was an accordion it only had this little button here which is uh, right up on the edge of the instrument um, and uh, the fantastic Mike Robotham who uh, did the conversion on this has invented this wonderful sprung extension for the button which allows me to be playing over this end of the, the Stradella keyboard and still get my thumb to engage the button with only a little addition of this this lovely wooden button here so that's all it is is a little flap it's still sprung by the original button inside uh, just a hinged um, strip of wood beautiful so I'll show you inside the Stradella bass because that's different to a Melodeon. So 
There we are. I don't know if you can see inside there, but uh, this is the Stradella base mechanism. Now, underneath all this are the flaps which open one each individual note in this left hand side. And when I press one of the cord buttons, it will engage several of these parts of the machine. And you can see them operating these rods, which in turn choose which notes to open. So it's much more complicated in there than it is in um, uh, a normal Melodeon. Um, but I'd just like to appreciate how little tolerance there is. This 48 base mechanism only just fits in, really only just. Uh, so it's an amazing bit of uh, retrofitting. <laughs> So I'm not going to open the treble side, um, but I will take the pins out and just show you with the grill off. So whereas the Hona Poker Work had two rows of levers for the two uh, reed blocks, this has three rows of levers for three reed blocks. And as such, uh, the reed uh, blocks inside have to be a little bit smaller with less space in between the reeds. And I think that um, has meant that this instrument has a much less powerful sound than the poker work uh, because you're getting less air through. Um, but it's a very nice, delicate sound. So there's the Hona Lucia. Let's go and play some tunes on it. So that's the Hona Lucia. And uh, now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the system and then play something on it. Um, so, uh, yes, as, as I've told you, it has uh, an accidental roll on the inside to give me all kind of extra helper notes. Um, this is a system I did invent myself, but it turns out that it's almost exactly the same system as the one uh, they use in France, invented by Jean-Michel Courgeron. Um, so great minds think alike, hopefully. Um, uh, basically, my methodology of choosing the notes were to get the maximum number of chords um, with all three notes in the chords available on the push and the pull, and there's only a few that I can only get two note chords on, but that's pretty much um, all covered. On the left hand, I've kept it pretty much as it was uh, when it was still a chromatic instrument. It's got the original reeds in there. Um, obviously, this is an accordion system, so different notes, um, different directions give you the same note, but uh, on the right hand, it's a push me pull you um so uh yeah um uh the, the, well, the one thing i have changed is that where there would have been a set of minor chords on the outside here um i've made into third list chords or power chords um and that's to kind of replicate how i would use um a stop on the melodeon to take the thirds out but i can either choose major chord or third list chord and I can kind of make minors by mixing um, some of my chords together. Um, anyway, I'm going to play you something. This is a, a tune I learned a long time ago from uh, the fantastic playing of John Kirkpatrick and Sue Harris. It's called Ro Roast Beef. <laughs>
There you go. Um, that was in the key of A, by the way, so it's slightly away from the DNG, but uh, not very far. <laughs> See you next time. Thank you.